Hey guys, this is Kenny with Flytime RC. I wanted to go over my new rebuild of the low wing VTL. This, um, this I'm pretty dang certain will get us to the 120 mile an hour mark. Maybe more. We'll see. Uh, I wanted to go over a quick, uh, few new design details on this new revision, um, and just kind of show you guys what I did. So we're going to start off with the Fuselage and the V-tail are actually from the original low wing that I built. I kept everything from this point back because it did such a good job. I, I did such a good job building it. Everything's like perfect. I decided I wanted to keep it and reuse it. So that's what I did. Um, so everything from this point forward is, is all brand new. Um, next thing we'll go over is the wing. The wing is the same size. Um, it has the same... Um, basically the same wing the only thing that i did different this time is i have a smaller spar and i also made the wing thinner so this is about 3 16 thinner so the um there should be a lot less drag um a little bit less lift and um also with that the tape job is way better i did i was trying to make it perfect it's not perfect but it's way better than what I did before. The tape job is just better. Everything, all these edges over here are way cleaner. All the tape around the servos, which I could have ran the servo wires in the wing, but I was trying not to cut the wing in any way so that it made it weaker. So I think this is this is fine. This shouldn't cause really any drag. I had the same amount before, except for the tape is way cleaner this time than it was before. Um, the... Ailerons are the same size. The only difference is, is I cut this corner off um, about a 30 degree angle. Uh, just for the heck of it, I want to see if maybe it causes a little less drag not having that corner on there. Maybe it doesn't do anything. Who knows? Um, if anything, it looks neat. Um, we have the same amount of dihedral on the wings. Um, on the last one, I did have a small brace going from here down to here, and I still might do that uh, before I put it up in the air. Uh, but for now, the wing is pretty strong, and I'm not really concerned about it uh, breaking. With this plane, I'm not going to be doing aerobatics, really, like I was with all the other speed plane. This is strictly for straight line speed. Um, it will obviously do aerobatics, but because I built it uh, just for a four cell, the, the fly time on this is only a couple of minutes. It's really short, so not really a lot of time to mess around. Um, let's see. Uh, another big thing, so the whole, uh, another reason why we did this whole revision is to make sure we can get the Speedo inside. So, as you can see, we have the GPS Speedo. It has its own spot now. It, it sits right in. It's, it sits perfectly in there. We have the ESC back there, or not the ESC, but the receiver back there. And, um, then under here, we have the battery, and the battery fits perfect too. Everything is, like, made perfectly to where it fits really tight. And there's really no extra room. I tried to make it as light and small and uh, strong as possible. All The whole fuselage from here all the way back to around here is double layer. So it's nice and strong. Um, but as you can see, the battery fits super tight. I made it so that the battery fits centered and there's foam on this side. And then on this side, we use a connector to help hold the battery centered. Um, the ESC is crammed inside the front here. I have a hole up front to help... Uh, pull air um, is also slotted um, in front of the battery there's also like a quarter inch slot to make sure air can move past and get and get pulled out of the uh, ESC area um, let's see what else is new on here I think actually that's mainly it everything is just really sleek and I just did a better job I was really really trying to make this thing look clean um, when I go to do the run, I will tape these down. So these will all get taped down. And then I have a little handle here so I can pull this up so I can get the battery in and out. Um, uh, I have the same rate set up um, for the ailerons. Uh, the, um, you can see the elevator has a small amount of throw, but when you're doing over 100, you don't need much. Um, this is the ailerons. So this is on medium rates. I also have a low rate where it moves just barely on then high rates too if I want to do some aerobatic stuff um, which we'll see but when I did the speed runs before I was running in medium rates and it seemed to be fine it gave me plenty of control and it wasn't so much that I felt like it was gonna get out of hand um, let's see other than that I think 
it's more or less the same. I just tried to do a way better job on this and to make it clean. Um, and I think it's going to do good. I think the only thing I might add is some more of this silver tape across here just to make sure it doesn't get torn up when it, when it lands. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hopefully this will be 120 miles an hour plus. I'm certain I'll get there. And then from there, we'll see how much faster we can go. We've got the six by six prop on here. Um, we got 115 miles an hour with this before with this mounted on top of there. So I think that now that it's in the fuselage and, and I have the center of gravity just perfect, I think this is going to do really, really good. But that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching.